On April 15th, Microsoft closes a chapter on gaming history by discontinuing support for the original Xbox Live service. Xbox games, as well as Xbox originals available for download on the 360, will no longer be playable online. While Microsoft has yet to give any official reasons for shutting down the original Xbox Live service, speculation swirled that Halo 2 and its online infrastructure were preventing the company from raising the friend limit for the current version of Xbox Live. I was, I was actually shocked, because Halo 2 is like the definitive online multiplayer console game in my eyes, because it's one of the first that I ever really played. So when I heard that they were destroying that, it's like, well, this, that's it. That thing is still going. For the sentimental value, I'm sad, but from a realistic perspective, I'm, I'm personally not affected too much. So now that Microsoft is getting rid of this barrier, they can kind of open up the friends list so you can add more people and do all that. Uh, it's kind of sad because it is a piece of history. Um, Xbox Live is really important to the way that we uh, handle online gaming now. It's important to how online gaming has evolved on the consoles. Um, so I'm sad, but you know, it's kind of a necessary step to take. I'm a realist. I know that they keep, they, Microsoft can't really keep maintaining those servers forever, even though there is that small pocket of really enthusiastic fans that are still playing. Probably one of my favorite memories of playing online with the original Xbox would be, I must have just moved to the US. And so I, you know, I was kind of missing home. I was missing a bunch of my friends from England and that kind of stuff. And so me and a group of three of my best friends from over there, we would get together maybe once every couple of weeks or something and do the terrorist hunt mode in Rainbow Six. And um, yeah, just four of us there kind of, you know, talking on the mics and just catching up with each other, but also obviously, you know, the very serious business of taking down terrorists. Like pretty much everyone else out there, I played Halo 2 because that's what you did when you have when you had an Xbox. You played Halo 2. Burnout Takedown. So much fun to get together with friends and play Burnout Takedown and crash into people. And that game had such great online modes. And uh, I mean, obviously that series has uh, you know has moved forward since then, but nothing really. Uh, that, that's easily the game that stands out. Uh, sitting in my small apartment that I shared with one, my girlfriend and my college buddy, and my girlfriend in her room with like headphones on while me and my buddy played split screen Halo 2 online for as long as I could play without getting in trouble. Xbox Live has had this really an undeniably massive impact. You know, the fact that each and every Xbox had the Ethernet, uh, internet capabilities built in was a really huge deal. I don't think this could have worked really any other way. It's made it accessible to many, many more people. You know, PlayStation 2 had had online, obviously, and SOCOM was a huge hit, but it wasn't really something that came with the system. I think that it's it started things that now we're, we're starting to take for granted, um, like the party system. You know, now you see that system popping up in individual games on other platforms as well. You know, any game that came out for the Xbox could conceivably have that multiplayer component. I think Xbox Live still sets the standard for being able to easily connect with people, um, to easily stay connected with those people as you play, um, and, you know, provides an excellent interface to be able to hook up with people um, that's, that's really still unparalleled um, in online gaming. I think in the future of Xbox Live, I'd like to see a more customizable dashboard. You know, I'm a realist. I don't actually expect this to happen, but one of these days, I would like to log on to a match in the next Halo game, be it, you know, Reach or whatever other game that this happens with, and I would like for once in my entire Xbox experience to not be called a horrible name by a 13-year-old who has just discovered the internet. I'd like to see a way to ban, ban racism. Is that possible? Well, I'm a big fan of uh, a PC program slash service called Xfire. And one of the things that Xfire lets you do is broadcast your gameplay to other people. And I think it would be really awesome if you could do the same thing um, using Xbox Live. But no matter the reason, the launch of the original Xbox Live service was an important moment in gaming and one that helped shape the way we play console games online today.